I got involved with this study for a number of reasons. I'm a psychopharmacologist and I'm interested in developing new treatments, so studies of this kind are of great interest to me. I'm also a, a doctor who treats people with severe and complex mood disorders, and therefore I'm very interested in the process of developing new treatments. But more than that, this study is one of the most interesting that's come along really this century in terms of being innovative and developing new treatments for people who have a really wretched uh, experience with their illness. The study results are very important and tell us two extremely important things. First of all, the treatment worked in terms of helping reduce depression. So this is what we call a signal of response and we would expect this to uh, generalize into being an effective treatment in clinical practice. The second point, and this is extremely important, is that this effect uh, continued for 12 weeks, for the 12 weeks of the study. Uh, this means that there's a durability of effect, which means that the treatment is likely to have greater benefits in clinical practice than if it was something that lasted for, say, a few days or even a few weeks. We know that this is the prospect of a new type of treatment, which is different from all of the other treatments that we have already. It's a combination uh, of uh, a drug and also psychological support, uh, which has been done in a way which is novel. It has clear significant benefits on the problems that they're experiencing, and the benefits appear to be enduring, uh, at least for the duration that we studied it here. So I think these are all really uh, very good signals to send to people with mental health challenges that there are new treatments being developed which may actually uh, be available in the future and really help people with their problems.